How do you pick back up the momentum that you guys built prior to the break? I mean, just going out there and play. You know, I feel like we can't put no pressure on ourselves. You know, we got to just go out and compete on both ends of the floor, uh, defend like we've been doing, and moving the ball on the offensive end like we've been doing, and just having fun. As a vet, you know most NBA sets and offenses. So, is it easier to get the word, the verbiage down quickly when you know what it is? I mean, definitely. So, once once you know, you know. Plays are all throughout the NBA, it's just different play calls. So once you figure out the call and, and what the play is, it, it kind of comes in your mind to run a little easier. And then actually when they call it, you you already snap it in your mind because you've been in the hotel or whatever, watching film, trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But um, for, for me, it's become easy because uh, I've been around for a little while, so it's easy to adjust. Defensive coverage is a little harder? Not a little hard, just, you know, it makes your mind think a little bit. Um, you know, we, we have a, a good defensive scheme uh, where we just fly around in, in certain situations and, and making it fun. But um, like, like we've been talking about, as long as we communicate and, and help one another and be there for one another, uh, we'll figure it out. George, there's been a lot of talk, <clears throat> excuse me, how these traits have rejuvenated the Cavs and re-energized LeBron. How about personally, Frank, what does this mean for you to come in this situation? I mean, for me, it's a blessing. You know, I, I was in a tough situation. Um, you know, I, I think that for all they did, but, you know, I think my time there was done. And um, to get another opportunity, uh, not just to come and play, but to possibly play for a championship is something that, you know, I've had early in my career going against him in Miami with a three-headed monster. Um, kept spoiling my summer, but um, now I get a chance to be a part of something special and, and get an opportunity to go to the finals. So. Um, I, I just, you know, pray every morning and every night that uh, I think that I was getting put in a situation today. George, you and all the new guys have mentioned having fun. It seemed like that's something that the Cavs were missing before. When a team is not having fun, where do you think it shows the most? I think it shows mostly on mostly on defensive end. You know, um, everybody is so some most of the time is so offensive dominant. Um, you know, defense is something that you got to want to do. It's nothing that you can really work on. It's, it's inside you. So uh, I feel like when you're happy on both ends of the floor, especially defensively, you know, it shows you smiling, running around, helping another teammate, uh, communicating and things like that. And I think that we're doing a great job at that. You played in the QB4, but now in a Cavs uniform, I'm looking forward to playing there. Well, I'm, I'm happy that I'm on the other side now. Um, it's, it's a very tough place to play. You know, the fans are super loyal here and uh, super energetic. So um, I'm happy that I'm going to be sitting on the home side this time where they're cheering for us rather than against me. Communication's kind of been an issue all season. When LeBron, you know, is hoarse like he was in Oklahoma, is that a set that means you're at your peak of that, you know, like talking all the time? I mean, definitely so. I mean, that's him. You know, he's a vocal leader. He he does everything from um, examples to showing you to, you know, talking about it and, and things like that. So um, as best that we can all talk and communicate at the same time, not leaving it all on him and all just being on the same page is going to make it easier. How different is the mental and physical preparation for, for a team that has aspirations to play into June versus one that probably could end in April? I mean, it's definitely a, a mental thing. You know, you got to reprogram your mind and things like that. But um, like I said, you don't want to put too much stress on it. I think, you know, as long as we play basketball and do everything the right way, um, basketball will take care of itself. If, if we're meant to be there, we're, we're going to be there. But uh, first thing we got to do is continue to play the right way on both ends of the floor and, and let the basketball guys take care of the rest. Anything else? Getting through the living out of a suitcase after you know, having roots pretty much throughout your career, wherever you are. I mean, definitely so, you know, <laughs> living out of suitcase right now and trying to find a place to stay and with a newborn baby, is, it's kind of tough. So, um, you know, my, my fiance and them are back in Texas, so it kind of takes a little bit off of me not having to wake up every two hours with the baby. So <laughs> I'm happy about that right now. How old's the baby? One month. Wow. I have a two-year-old boy and a one-month daughter. Oh, wow. Lord. <laughs> It was hard to leave because I'm so close to my kids, and um, it, it's a point where you know we have we have to do it. You know, it's best for my family and things like that. So they'll be here shortly. You know, can't wait till my son actually gets to go to a game again because that's all he's talking about. <laughs>
Okay. Thank you. Don't apologize for getting sleep. No, I'm not.